So I'm stationed up in Bremerton, Washington, as I've mentioned before, and, and the group I was working for it wasn't the normal chaplain's group. We did all the retreats, like a personal growth retreat, marriage retreat, women's retreat, these things. So it's the weekend of one of our marriage retreats, and they're out in Gig Harbor, Washington. So we load up our cargo van, I drive that out there, get all the supplies out, me and the chaplain set up, and then I head back to base to you know drop the van off and go home for the night. For whatever reason, it's it's raining this night, and it was later on, and, and I don't know why, but I was in the full dress uniform, the you know the blue, the cracker jack outfit, as most people would call it. Uh, again, I don't remember why, because that was very unusual. I probably only wore that thing twice the entire time I was in the Navy, and one of them was for the Marine Corps ball. So we go, we, you know, I come back, and I'm thinking, man, it's cold, it's rainy, and I see this drive-through coffee place, and they're all over in Seattle. Like if you've never seen it, it's kind of kind of weird to see for somebody like me from the midwest who's never seen this thing we used to joke that it's like every street corner has a coffee shop and in between them is the drive through coffee shop and they all made they made money so they're doing good business so i was like yeah you know something hot to drink would be nice so i stop and it's it's raining and i get out of the van because the way these are set up and i'm i'm short you know it's like being in that huge van trying to order across the the window and it's a pain in the butt so i kind of just pull up get out Looking at the menu, I was like, yeah, you know, give me a large hot cocoa. That's good enough tonight. So the lady's making it, and I'm looking at the sign for this place, because the sign's weird. It's got this weird, like, two-word name. And the second one is clearly latte, but the first word, I can't figure this out. And it's spelled like N-A-T-T-E or something. And I'm just looking at it, and I finally, I'm, I says, is that natte latte? And the woman laughs, she goes, isn't that clever? And I was like, why would that be clever? Like, naughty? Like, naughty? Like, I don't I don't get it. And I turn and I finally look in the window where she's making the coffee and I just completely stop. I'm like, are you naked back there? And she just smiles at me and goes, I'm wearing an apron. And I'm just like, okay, this is weird. And I'm standing here in full dress uniform. Like, I hope no other cars pull up behind me because this is going to look really bad. So I get my drink and it was pretty good, whatever. Drop the van off, walk home, and uh, next Monday, I, you know, we got everything picked up, and I'm telling the junior chaplain and the senior RP about this whole thing. Also, that senior RP sometimes watches my videos, so uh, Smith, if you're watching, hi. And so, you know, telling the story, and I get to this whole thing about the woman being back there naked, and they're cracking up laughing, and the senior chaplain walks in, he's like, hey, what's so funny? And I'm like, would you believe there's a naked coffee shop around here? And he goes, oh yeah, you discovered that, huh? And I'm like, yeah, and he's got this big smile on his face. He's like, so, uh, which one do you go to? Natte Latte or Cowgirl Coffee? <laughs> Turns out there was more than one of these. They were like all over the place. This business was good.